and welcome back to another episode and a brand new series. This is one we're super excited about guys. You may notice that the scenery behind us is totally different. Long story short, we've jumped on board a sailboat with my oldies, mom and dad, and we're helping them sail that back from remote Indonesia back to Australia. This place is absolutely incredible. Of course, we're sharing it all with you, so subscribe to the channel to come along for the adventure. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. But first things first this morning, guys, we've got to catch something to eat. So it is glassy calm this morning guys, so we've headed out in the tender, we're just having a bit of a fish and an explore. As usual through this series, we're going to be living from the land and ocean as best we can. Let's see if we can have any luck. Tool of the day, rod to catch something for lunch. <laughs> So there's a little river mouth just here. It's almost hard to see because it's so calm at the moment, but we're just throwing some lures around and seeing if there's any fish hungry this morning. Hopefully a mangrove jack homes. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's a barracuda. It's a oh barracuda. no. <laughs> we're gonna have to eat it. <laughs> Might be the only catch for the day. So you got no confidence in this for the rest of the day? Oh. Very comfortable position. <laughs> This is pretty exciting for us here as we pulled up a couple of hornbill birds come out of the trees, birds that we've never seen before. So even just parked along the bank here, we're hearing birds we haven't heard before. We're seeing fish that we haven't seen in a long time. So this is super exciting. Like, <laughs> like mangrove jacks. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> what have you got? You got, got a, a big tree. <laughs> New species of tree for New us. New species. There must be a species of tree here that stings you. Let's check this out. Walking through the jungle yesterday, something got me. Oh, your friend cast out in front. There's fish, like queenies or something. Seems to be a bit of action here. We've had a few fish chasing Fran's popper. How was that? As soon as it land. Oh, yes, you're on. Yeah, I'm on. That's a barracuda again. What is it? A barracuda is again. It? <laughs> oh, no. Another one. Fran's first fish oh, of so the trip. Oh. Oh, and he's off. Just catch and release with those ones, oh. eh? That was uh, so very exciting. Go again. Oh, no, oh, oh. oh not again. Can I give it a flicker? It's over that tree. Oh. Oh, be so much worse. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that out of the tree. We've got it. What have we got? These barracuda are very aggressive at the mouth of these creeks. <laughs> That's what we've been catching this morning anyway. Yeah. How crazy are they yeah. too? Oh, I'll let him go. See you, mate. Oh well. That's it's right, we're catching fish. Looks like we're gonna have barracudas. Look at all the corals, guys. Right up on the mangroves. We heard from one of the local guys that there's a waterfall up this creek. So we're gonna go on an adventure. Yeah. So many corals. An eagle. That's cool. Oh, it looks like he's gonna hunt something up there. I think it's just around the corner, Jeff. Hope so. And what are you drinking there, friend? I'm drinking AG1. This is what keeps Jack and I healthy for our remote trips. And most of you don't know, but I'm actually a very fussy eater. I don't like any sweet things, including fruit. And for us, it's very hard to access veggies on our trip. We did go to our local market uh, before departure, and it was a bit of an experience. We did get some, but it's not gonna last us forever. And this gives us a nutritional foundation that we need daily with all the vitamins, minerals, and superfood all packed in a convenient serving. Grab a spoon of powder, pour it into the water bottle, give it a shake, and it's all ready to go for you on your adventure. It tastes delicious and helps support our immune system from all the bad bugs that you're not used to while traveling. 
so our guts are happy and healthy. <laughs> our friends from AG1 have a really generous offer going at the moment. They'll give you five free travel packs, one year supply of vitamin D and a 60 days money back guarantee. So if you want to give it a go, you can uh, follow the link in the descriptions below and let us know how you go. Hey Jack, look how big this leaf is. Wow, it's awesome. <laughs> Push sucker. Oh yeah, yeah. What is it? Oh. Looks like a tomato. <laughs> oh. oh wow. We have to look into it. Yeah, I don't know. What an amazing little bay. It's so great to see the corals literally growing out of the mangrove system. It's a pretty special area. I think this is just the beginning of lots more to come. We're about to jump on board the bigger boat now and move Anchorage. Fingers crossed we can get in for a dive this afternoon. What have you spotted, Fran? We just spotted Samantha, so we're gonna do a little drift on the go. Hopefully, they're friendly. So much fish This is amazing. So good. Let's find those manta rays, though. We haven't seen them yet. Yeah. And there's a little village over there. We just made it to the new anchorage. It looks unbelievable. It's all little islands and there's mantas everywhere. This place is absolutely breathtaking. It's got to be one of the nicest anchorages we've ever pulled in on. There's rainforest growing out of the limestone cliffs and then dropping down into water where from the drone you can see fish feeding. And then up off the point here is where we spotted those manta rays. So either they're feeding in the current or they're getting cleaned like a cleaning station. So we're going to go have a snorkel and, um, and see what's going on over there. Let's go see what these mantas are doing, huh? I'm ready. The mantas are right behind me. Can you see them out of the water? What? Incredible! 
unreal, just straight off the island. There's all these manta rays feeding. Look at this shelter. This is so cool. My first Shiva eye. They're different in every country. That snorkeling was unbelievable. The biodiversity down there. Something we haven't seen in so long. Yeah, that was absolutely incredible. And uh, now we've just jumped in the tent and we're gonna have a bit more of an explore around these little islands and look for some more dive spots. It's just amazing how like the coral comes straight up to like the limestone in the jungle. It's pretty unique terrain, but we're, uh, we're kind of blown away at the moment. That was the flowers, Fran. I know. So many corals. So many different species of corals, hey? And even the sponges, like those yellow sponges. Yes, yeah, soft, hard coral, plate coral, branching coral. Everything. everything. Beautiful. There's a little creek over there, Jack. Oh, yeah. Coming out of the mangroves, there's an anemone with some clownfish just there. Straight under the coral reef. So straight from this cliff, it drops down really vertical here. So we'll probably come and have a dive along here tomorrow. I reckon it looks super fishy. Right, and we need to catch something for dinner. We do, don't we? In these areas, both the reefs and the fish on them are seen to be owned by the local village. And upon meeting a few of the local guys, we were given permission to take enough for a feed and then even invited to go spearing with them. You'll be meeting them in a future episode, but for now, let's jump in and search for some dinner. What a beauty! Such a beautiful fish. Do you think it's your biggest vermicula trap? Yeah, my biggest, definitely. That's my favorite, favorite species. Awesome, we'll fill it up, eh? Yeah. Pillaring board. What did you see, Jack? See all these ants marching here. They're very, <laughs> very organized. Oh, there's so many ants underneath. <laughs> you don't like the ants, Fred? <laughs> No, are they going the holes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, let's fill it up. Looks like out the back of this island, there's a bit of a fresh water here. So let's go have a look. Some of these areas we've been told have actually got crocodiles in them. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. You can hear the pigeons. Wow, that's interesting. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Are you getting beaten yeah. by mozzies? The mosquitoes definitely like it in here, but no crocodiles. I think we'd want it to be a little bit deeper to hold a crocodile. Now this was the first choice today, the beautiful vermicula coral trout. And it's always been my favorite fish, this one. I caught uh, one about this size when I was really, really young. And from then on, I've loved these fish. The way the reefs work here is that the water in the reef behind me is owned by the villagers. And we were given special permission to go out and take one fish for the family today. So this guy was the first choice. I'll fill it him up. Something exciting's happened. So we've made some mates from the village here and they've promised tomorrow we're gonna to go out spearfishing to some of their favorite spots. That's something I'm super excited for. All right, we're gonna take these fillets back to the family for a cook up. But that's it for this episode, guys. This is only day one of plenty more epic days to come. So subscribe to the channel if you're new here. This is gonna be one hell of a trip. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, see ya. See you next Sunday. <laughs> Looks like there's a ghost in their house. Whoa. Imagine if we just saw that at night time. Oh my God, that'd be terrifying. <laughs>